Hi, I'm Carla Buderak and welcome to Behavior Communicates. If you're an SLP, one of the hardest sounds, as you know, to help students produce is the R. It's not easy to see what the student is doing in their mouth for the proper tongue placement. Likewise, it's not easy for the student to see what proper tongue placement looks like in your mouth. Mirror work and showing students what the placement looks like for R using models of teeth and a tongue are somewhat helpful, but often just seem to fall short. This leads me into what I have for you today. Get ready for this because it is the easiest, most efficient strategy I have ever seen to help students get the perfect tongue placement for the R sound. All you need is a dental floss stick. Let your student know that you're going to let them experience exactly what it feels like to form the perfect R sound. Then you give your student the stick and ask him or her to put their tongue under the floss that is between the prongs and pull the floss with their tongue back into their mouth to form the perfect placement of the R. It looks like this. Uh. As you can see, this little tool available at your local drugstore gives your students the perfect mechanics to produce R. Who knew? Once they feel for themselves exactly where the placement occurs, they're more likely to be able to reproduce the correct placement themselves. This may just save you hours of therapy time with your students. You're welcome. For, an, for more excellent ideas on strategies for articulation, check out Wayne Secord's book, Eliciting Sounds, Techniques and Strategies for Clinicians. Thank you so much for joining me here at Behavior Communicates. Just remember, the more we know about how to help the child or the student we love, the better quality of life they will have. If you like this video and you want to be in the know, sign up for Behavior Communicates. You'll automatically get my weekly video and blog, plus other resources that I only share with my subscribers. Please like this video, leave a comment below, and share it with all your parents, teachers, friends, and your coworkers on Facebook, Twitter, and all your other social media. You take care, and I'll see you next time.